Hey folks, Poverty Point Customs here. Well, this is my 2006 Yamaha Stratoliner motorcycle. What's happening when the bike sits for a week or two, the rear tire is going down a few PSI. So what I've done is uh, taken some spray water and soap and I've gone around the whole rim and the valve stem doing the classic bubble test. And I can't find anywhere where it's been leaking. And these tires are relatively new. There's no weather cracks or whatnot in them. So what we're going to try to do is try this slime prevent and repair flat tires. I purchased this at Canadian Tire. It's $15.99 plus tax. And I should say this is more for a temporary fix or for off-road use only. However, it's a very, very slow leak. Again, it's only a few PSI a week. And I'm going to put this in. I know uh, the next person that swaps out the tire probably isn't going to like me. It does make a little mess on the inside, but we'll deal with that when it comes to that point. What I'm going to do is remove the bag on the right side of the bike. So what you're going to want to do is put your valve stem so it's on the upper half of the tire. Take off your valve stem cover. So on the top of your container if you unscrew this it has a core remover actually built in as you can see right there so this is going to take out the core in your valve stem so we're going to take out the core there's the core so you want the air to deflate out of the tire, which it does really quickly when the core is out. So you're going to pull out your hose on the side of the container. Also, I want to note, make sure you shake this up really well. You're going to remove this. You're going to want to take this hose and put it on your valve stem. Just like that. And this is 710 mils. And on the side it has uh, how much you need. So for a motorcycle, it's saying 237 mils, but this is a big motorcycle tire. So I'm gonna use probably half or three quarters of this. So we're gonna put this on and squeeze in about half of it. Alright, so I put in a little over two-thirds of the bottle. So what you're going to do next is remove the hose. You're going to reinstall your core into your valve stem by turning it clockwise. So the core is all installed. What a great thing that they actually include this. So you're going to want to pump up your tire to the recommended PSI. For this tire, it's, I believe it's 42 PSI. Alright, so we got it rated around uh, 42 PSI, so we're going to reinstall the valve cap. So on the directions, it says it's to drive at 300 meters and then stop and check your PSI. So we'll do that. Alright, so I took this for about a two kilometer drive. So what I'm going to do is let this sit overnight because it is such a slow leak and we're going to check the PSI in the morning and see if it's still holding steady. Alright, so it's been a few days and knock on wood, the tire pressure is still holding steady around 41 PSI. So let's hope that this slime actually did what it said it's supposed to and it's working. So hopefully after a few weeks here, uh, We'll do a little update to make sure that it is uh, still working. Again, it was a very, very slow leak. So I'll be able to put the saddlebag back on the bike. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got some mods that have been installed on the ATV that will uh, 
be seen here in the next few videos. We're going to be moving about four to five dump truck loads of dirt with the John Deere 870. And we got a new hot tub. We're going to uh, get that all set up. So I'll show you how to do that. Remember, if you have any questions or comments or what you'd like to see on some uh, future videos, make sure you uh, put it in the comments below. If not, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It costs you nothing and certainly helps me out for the YouTube analytics. And make sure to hit that bell notification. Thanks for watching.